Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Ansan Suchi, for such an inspiring uh, conversation in this morning. I'm, I'm David Hertz. I'm from Brazil. I'm a YGL, and I'm a chef and a social entrepreneur, and I mentioned to you that food is a good way to skill everyone. I think uh, food has the power, the potential, responsibility to transform lives. And I have examples from here, from Yangon. The Yangon Bakehouse, which employed and employed women, and the Shwebase that do the unemployment skills for youth. So my question, and I, I also want to just to mention that as a YGL, we came here before, and we did a food learning journey where we got the whole chain, the supply chain, the restaurants and the chefs with Miss Piu Piu Ting from Monsoon Restaurant. And she's going to become our leader here to put unite everyone to support the farmers. And we created this food vision that we want to put into action. So my question is how we can put into action, because I'm from Brazil, I'm not going to be here, but I want to support this network to really use food to bring pride, proud to the country and also skills. Whenever I think of any particular issue, I like to look at different aspects of it. When you mentioned food, what immediately sprung to my mind was uh, the, the way in which we could help to make traditional food lucrative for our people. And what I've done practically is uh, I, uh, we have four um, constituencies in, this, in the Naypyidaw area where uh, our, um, our MPs are in place. And I went to look at one of them a few months ago, and they, they served us a lot of the local, local sweetmeats. And they're very good. They're just traditional, just traditional Burmese snacks and sweets. And it occurred to me that I sh I would, it would be very good if we could promote these by asking the uh, hotels, of which there are many in Naypyidaw, to serve these to the guests rather than uh, Danish pastries and uh, French shoes. <laughs> and so, Mind you, I'm very fond of Danish pastries, <laughs> and I'm very fond of the Danish people too. But uh, I thought this would be a good idea, and we started a little experiment, asking this particular village to make sweets that they would deliver to a hotel, and asking the hotel to try it out on their guests. So I would like you to work at this food venture in this way. You help villagers to earn money, you help us to preserve our traditions. Mm -hmm. You help to, uh, to develop the, uh, the culinary skills of our people. And you help our visitors to have nicer food. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a win-win all around. 